What is going on, my Vital Pointers? This is your host, Andrew Penzi, and I'm on my way to go kill a big buck. I'm hunting right over a little creek. Really pretty view, but it's a tough spot. Not a lot of shooting lanes. Um, it's a real tight funnel. Only like 20 or 30 yards across. So anything that comes through here, it's gotta walk by me. But uh, being able to get a clear shot is gonna be the difficult part. A lot of branches and vines in the way. This is my first time sitting in this property. I made a ton of noise setting up. These hang on stands, no, no matter what I do, they make a lot of noise. This is the type of spot that I can't even play on my phone or anything because I really got to be on top of things. If one comes walking down the lane, it's going to take a miracle for me to see it before it sees me. Well, I'm already in magic hour. Let's go. So there's a little island, only maybe 60 yards away, just on the other side of the creek there. And both the doe and the buck came from that island. The doe came out first, and she kind of cut through the woods over here at about 50 yards away. And then the buck, it was maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes later, that the buck came out. And it's, here's a lesson learned. I thought I was in a great funnel with the creek funneling that side. But it turns out it's not a funnel at all because the deer just go across the creek like it's nothing. So, thing to know for next time is don't think you're gonna funnel all the deer past you when you have a creek next to you because they just go right across the creek. That buck actually continued walking. He walked right down the middle of the creek and just kept on going down the middle of the creek into the thick cattails over there. I never actually saw him come out into the woods. I was hoping I would have, because then I'd set up there for next time. I, I tried grunting at him a couple times. He stopped and listened, but wasn't particularly interested. I gave him a couple snort wheezes too, after that, to try to piss him off, but <laughs> no such luck. So I'm not really sure how to hunt him for next time. I gotta figure this one out. So I know his bedding area is that little island, but it's not the type of island that you could really hunt. It's, it's high brush and stuff on there. So, I don't know. I could set up along the edge of the creek and shoot him in the creek, but I don't know that that's a great idea. So then you lose the arrow and you might lose a deer. I'm so excited, I gotta watch my speed driving because I keep putting the pedal to the metal because I just want to get there. Yesterday was the day I saw that big buck in that little creek uh, shortly after a doe came through. And I'm guessing he's gonna be bedded up in the same spot. It just looked like such a good hiding spot for him. Chances are that's where he'll be. So I'm gonna get super aggressive tonight. I'm putting on the ghillie suit and uh, I'm gonna hunt right along the edge of that creek and uh, hopefully catch him, catch him coming the same way 
Uh, it'll be 15 yard shot, probably at most, uh, if that works out. I just gotta find a good spot to set up and I gotta see if I can find a spot where there's not too many reeds because uh, I don't wanna have to shoot through the reeds. So I just need like, a little clearing that I can get through and uh, I'm gonna go for it. This is one of the first real big bucks I've seen this year and uh, you know, he's a mature animal and I am just ready to get on him. I was debating just sitting in a tree a little further down in the hardwoods hoping that it'll pop out somewhere nearby, but you know what? I'm not gonna take that chance. It's already January and uh, it's time to step it up. I'm gonna make it happen. Beautiful foxes. That was so cool. They're still wondering what's going on. They must have heard the clanging of my climbing sticks. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible, but it was enough for them to come investigate. I had to abandon my plan of hunting the uh, cattails because I decided they're just too, too thick to shoot through. So I picked a tree nearby, a little further down from where I was yesterday, and uh, let's hope he pops out in the right spot. I gotta get these sticks up now. Okay, I like this setup. I have a little wetland in front of me, and uh, some kind of thick stuff behind me. I'm guessing he's gonna do the same thing as yesterday and come along that wetland and uh, hopefully, you know, this is the spot. I saw a couple trails that pop out in this neighborhood. So, come on, oh, come on. The foxes were a good sign. It's a great wind. Come on, come on, come on. Big question for me is if I see that doe, do I shoot the doe? Why do I just let her go and hope that he follows? I don't know. I'm rocking the ghillie suit tonight. This is a smart buck. He deserves the ghillie suit tonight. Okay, I have to be quiet. Today's his lucky day. I'm hoping his big brother comes out. So I gave him a pass. That would have been a chip shot right there. If you want to shoot a big one, you gotta let the little guys go. Well, it looks like he outsmarted me again. I'm about out of light here. As I'm talking, I'm still looking to see anything else walking. Um, but uh, at least I know he's in here. And I'll be back another day. I might let this cool off for a week or so. Problem is, I let it cool off, but someone else could be in here hunting, so uh, it's not necessarily cooling off. But at least I kind of know where he's at, and uh, I like this spot I found here. That other buck had no clue I was here that came through. Tempting to take him. I'm still sitting on two buck ticks. December was a crap month in terms of hunting. Uh, I didn't see much at all. So, hoping it picks up in January. Come on, bucks. This is your host, Andrew Penzi, saying always aim for that vital point. See you later, guys.